All right, so we got another screen protector for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, if you've seen my previous video with the white stone dome glass, I installed that screen protector. I've had no issues with it. I know a lot of people have been talking about their fingerprint scanners hasn't been working, but this one right here, when it comes to this AM film, I can tell you that I do have better fingerprint scanner performance with this one. And I think the installation is just gonna be a tad bit easier, all right? So let's go ahead and check it out. This is gonna be the tempered glass for the S22 Ultra, which is gonna be the AM film. Just like the white stone dome when you're talking about the glue and everything like that so i was like you know what let me give the people a different option so they can go out there and choose and see what's better for them all right now this is a two part a two pack screen protector now i have already installed one just to kind of go through the process myself to see how i was before i do a live on video and i think we got it together all right so we're going to do this step by step just like i did the last one i don't want to bombard bar with a whole bunch of products and stuff on the table but let me get this out because i am going to need that but let's go ahead and throw that to the side and let me go ahead and bring over what we do step by step when installing this screen protector all right so step number one is you're going to go ahead and bring your s22 ultra over all right and the first thing you gotta do is put these leveling pads on the back of your S22 Ultra. Now, when you bring your little installation kit over here, it's gonna have everything you need to install it. You got your glue, you got your level to see if your actual desk is level, absorption pads, leveling pads, and you have your little slides that you're gonna be able to drop the, release the screen protector onto the glass, and you have a little cylindrical, let me see what this bad boy is. Like a little metal, it's weird, it's weighted, but this actually sits down on your fingerprint scanner to make sure that the glue adheres, but still get some pressure on that fingerprint scan to allow that performance to be good. So I think this right here is gonna be a whole key part to the installation, all right? So first things first is let's go ahead and grab two of these leveling pads, all right? And these are just gonna be soft pads. So you're gonna peel that off. You're basically just gonna set one down. Now you don't have to be super, precise with this, all right? You can just kind of go about it. You don't gotta be super anal about this. So take these off, put that down, and put this down right here. And you're basically good when it comes to the leveling pads, all right? So let's move this back over here to the side. Now, next thing up is let's go ahead and bring our tray over here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and flip it over, all right? Now let's go ahead and bring the tray over so we know you're gonna have to deal with a tray. And let's go ahead and bring the screen protectors right here, which is gonna be an installation, uh, installation accessories right here. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up real fast. And so let's see everything that we get in here. We're gonna get a cloth. We're gonna get a wet wipe. And we're gonna get some stickers to get that dust off, all right? So what I always like to do first before it even goes into the frame itself is first start off with right here where it says a screen prep cloth, all right? So let's go ahead and take the screen prep cloth now i'm not sure what all of this does but i always like to give it a wipe down before it goes into the actual frame and then uh, of course once it gets in the frame we can kind of do some cleaning up afterwards all right so hit it with the screen prep cloth okay put that over to the side so you have everything nice and clean there you're basically going to grab your frame as it says top and it says bottom right here you're basically going to set it on it and you're gonna press it in, and you're gonna grab the bottom, make sure it's in there all even. We don't need this piece of paper anymore. So make sure it's all pressed into the frame, all right? Next up is we're gonna go over here and grab our installation little foams, and on the sides right here, you're gonna see an area where you need to slide these in. So you're basically gonna slide it in there, make sure you have it in there nice and flush. Second side over here, make sure you slide that in nice and flush, and there you go with that, all right? now. Next thing, let's grab our level, all right? Just for giggles, even though I know my, my desk is pretty level, man. Let's just set the level up there, and it's pretty much level. The level is going to get. I can't help it if it's not level at this moment, all right? So put that to the side. Now, next thing, let's go ahead and grab our wet wipe, all right? So let's go ahead and grab our wet wipe, and now we want to just go ahead and wipe the screen down one more time, all right? So let me grab this. So let me give the screen a wipe one more time. All right, make sure everything is off. Wipe it down, all right. Then you're gonna take the little cloth that they have included and basically wipe this down again with the included cloth. Now, you sometimes you might wanna pick it up, and I'm kind of doing this off camera, and just kind of blow some of that dust if you see a little bit of dust up there. I tend to just kind of blow it off because these right here sometimes leave dust on it. 
and you kind of just want to blow them off to make sure everything is good for the most part. All right, now you're going to go ahead and grab your sticker removal right here. And you're basically going to go through it and see if you see any dust on it. All right, so try to get as much dust off as possible. And you'll want to do this in the most dust free environment that you have, which is kind of always hard in my opinion, because you really, it's hard to have a dust free environment, but just look at it to see if you don't see any pressing dust bubbles. And then you kind of just kind of go from there. So if it's fairly clean, which I think this is fairly clean, we can keep on rocking with it and go from there. All right. So setting it down. Now we're going to grab our two little slides. All right. This is what the actual screen protector is going to sit on. So you're basically going to slide it in here and there's a little groove right here. So you'll slide it in. Slide that one in and make sure when you slide it in that the arrows you see are going to be up top. So in the bottom, there is no arrows. There are arrows up top. Slide this in as well. All right. And then let's take a look at it again. Always do a few dust checks. Just never do one. Always make sure you do a few dust checks and you should be good. All right. So not really seeing any more dust right there. So. Let's side that there. Now, next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your glue, all right? So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna grab your glue, and at first you're gonna unscrew the actual colored top, all right? Now, what you wanna do when it comes to the glue is you see these two little knobs right here. You basically wanna set the glue on right here on the middle in, the, in between these two notches right here. So let's go ahead and try to do that. The black portion is tight to unscrew, so what you're gonna do is come right in between these two notches and you're just gonna line it up somewhere in the middle, release that black clap, clap, release that black cap, and your glue is going to come out just like that, all right? So we got one. Let's screw the color cap off of this one. And let's get that ready for the second spot. Over here, you're gonna do the same exact thing. Release that black cap that releases the glue. Give it a dab, because there's always one little bit left in there. All right, now, let's go ahead and get the screen protector, and be careful not to open up much stuff over the screen itself right now, because it is pretty much clean. So let's peel the adhesive side off, all right? And then we're basically gonna set the screen protector right down here. You really can't mess it up, because there are notches right here in these two little slide levers, all right? so. Everything seems even, the glue isn't running. So the next step that you wanna do is you wanna slowly remove both of these plastic pieces and you do it very, very slow. And once you see the glue is starting to adhere, you basically finish pulling them out, but try to do it at the exact same time. Now I know this can probably be a little bit challenging, but just kind of watch what I do. So start off very slow, very slow, and the glue still hasn't pressed down yet. Keep going, keep going. It pressed down a little bit. All right, a little bit, a little bit, and then you basically want to drop it down and pull them both out at the same time, and you see the glue is starting to do its thing. It's starting to adhere completely through the screen protector. So I did mess up like two of these in the beginning because you probably want to just snatch them out and they both drop down. No, you basically want to do it very slow. Once you see both globs of glue start to adhere, Keep going slow and then it's a gradual movement because if you drop it down too fast, I guarantee you it's going to leave an air bubble and that's exactly what happened to me. All right, so let it do its thing and when that starts to adhere, you basically want to grab your little metal little cylinder right here and you're going to drop it right there where that fingerprint scanner is and it actually has a sticker telling you where to put it. All right, now let's go ahead and let that fully adhere and it's pretty much done all the way from the top to the bottom. It looks like a very flawless installation. Next thing you wanna do is grab your UV light. Thank you AM Film for having a UV light that covers the entire phone and also thank you for giving us a type C. Bravo for that because Whitestone and that micro USB and then you gotta have multiple sections. No, you just set this down over the whole phone and it does its thing, all right? So let me go ahead and get me a type C charger over here. You basically wanna plug it in. Now, I don't see a power label, so when you plug it in, the power is automatically gonna be on instantly, all right? So let's go ahead and plug it in, and there it is. You see it come on. It is put this down over the phone for 45 seconds. All right, so after 45 seconds, you're gonna remove the UV light. Let's set this off to the side because we will be doing a second curing process. Go ahead and remove that metal weight off of the fingerprint scanner. And then let's go ahead and give it a gentle press. 
and let's go ahead and pop it out the frame. Go ahead and remove this little fingerprint scanner sticker right here. And if you look real close, you'll kind of see, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but you'll see the little circle right there where the fingerprint scanner is. Don't worry, that will go away with just a little bit of time. All right, so let's go ahead and do the final curing process. And this time we're gonna do it for 60 seconds. All right, so 60 seconds is over. We are done with the UV light. All right, let's go ahead and grab one of our little wet wipes and let's wipe it down real quick. Check to see if you have any glue. The thing about this installation is it's a lot more cleaner than white stone dome because I feel like with the white stone dome, you'll end up having a little bit of glue left over. But with this, you don't really see a lot of glue. And I can, you see a little bit down here because you're starting to see it kind of, can starting to peel up and, and, and see some of it. But if you look at the installation, this is a flawless installation absolutely perfect no issues at all when we come to the installation and on the corners i feel like the am film just adheres a little better on the corners because sometimes with the white stone dome i would still see like a little area that gets a lot of debris into it but with this one i don't see anything like that whatsoever so it has been a perfect installation of this am film all right let's go ahead and take these little strips off the back all right, now let's go ahead and turn it on because people said I didn't show that the fingerprint scanner works and all of that before. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and re-register our fingerprints and we'll see how it works with the original fingerprints that I had on and then we'll delete those out and we'll add some more, show you the S Pen and we'll go on about our day, all right? So one thing about the screen protector is it is cut light, so it is cut a little bit short, so it will be compatible with just about any case out there that you put on it, okay? So let's go ahead and put it on. Let's swipe it up, all right? Let the phone start up for a second and let's see how it works without registering any new fingerprints. All right. So let me see how it does just straight up with no fingerprints. Boom. Works just fine that way. So let's cut it back on. Boom. Works just fine there. Let's do it again. Quick. All right. There it is there. Let's do the right finger. Works just fine. Boom. Works just fine. Now I already have touch sensitivity turned on because I literally just took this screen protector off and installed this one all over again. But I feel like the performance of this fingerprint scanner, even I didn't even register new fingerprints. So I'm pretty sure it could get even better if I did put new fingerprints up there. But just with the original fingerprints that I had, it's still registering it just fine. So another than that, let's go ahead and take out the S Pen so you'll see that the S Pen performance isn't hindered at all. So let's go ahead and write. Same responsiveness with your S Pen. You get the same pressure. If you turn it on the sideways, you get different pressure points. If it's right up straight, it's very fine. S Pen works just fine. And this right here, I can honestly say that I do prefer a little bit over the White Stone Dome because for me, I feel like it's a little bit more of a simpler install. I really like what they have going on with the fingerprint area. That just seems so clutch to me that you actually have a little weight to go down there and help you out with that fingerprint scanner. So there it is, man. This is going to be the AM film tempered glass for the S22 Ultra really like what this thing has going on if you happen to fail with the white stone dome and you just want to have a tempered glass screen protector definitely go out with this one because i feel like the fingerprint scanner performance is miles better than on the white stone dome all right so hopefully this installation helped you out a little bit if you did man make sure you hit that like button definitely hit that sub button but also turn that bell on so you don't miss out on any future videos on the channel when it comes to the s22 ultra and its accessories but everyone please be safe catch you on the next one later